How's it, Heini? How's Hi, it going? Cool, man. Good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm on the road. I'm sitting at Wild Lubanzi Hostel in the Trans Sky. Awesome. Yeah, Show so, you guys around here a bit. Yeah, so actually this month we decided to do a quick uh, blog, uh, kind of like a video interview to check out what Heine is up to in the Trans Sky. Obviously, I see you have lots of interesting things in the background there, including a... Yeah. Say hi to the people up there. Hey! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and so, just before that, I want to show you guys the view from the back, yeah? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Nature, forest, indigenous, mountains, ocean. Rocking yeah, so it. we're on the road. I've just been scouting this crunch sky a little bit. Obviously looking at building a bit more tours in the area. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. So what yeah. parts? Um, and places with the fastest Wi-Fi on the wild coast. So, okay, so thank this you. Is Definitely needed to do this here. So what parts exactly of the Transkai are you at at the moment? Um, it's called Lubanzi, is the area. Okay. Uh, uh, the famous part is Coffee Bay, and this is about an hour and a half drive south from Coffee Bay. And okay. that's between Port Elizabeth and Durban, in the area called Wild Coast. Okay. So, so yeah. the nearest airport is basically PE, is Port Elizabeth, right? Uh, the nearest airport is East London or is Durban, it? actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, and um, so what's been the best part of you being there so far? Oh, the views, the nature, and the wonderful cows on the beach. Every time you go to the beach, there's cows sitting and chilling on the beach. And the local people, lots of beer, lots of wine. Okay, lots of good times, yeah. creating memories. And hostels and stuff you stay at, you know, some of them have been around for years and years. Mm -hmm. And they all have amazing outreach projects and really link up with the communities that they function in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, in terms of, because I'm always interested in food, and so is maybe maybe you are too, so what's been the best kind of food experience you've had out there? Are there lots of brides going on, or are you guys fishing, and or what, what's happening? Interns here at Wild Lubanzi, Wild, Wild Lubanzi, and Ada, the one Dutch girl, made us this delicious chicken butternut tomato infused pie thing last night, and that was just... Ooh la la. Well. <laughs> and what, what wine does that pair well with? <laughs> oh, loads of red wine. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter the type, but it, it goes with red wine. We know that much. It worked beautiful with red wine last night. And, um, and so then what happens in the evenings? What's like the general kind of culture around there on, on the trans sky? I mean, is there kind of like, do you guys light fires, hang out around the fire, you know, play music? What, what are you guys up to? Sometimes on the beach. Um, yeah, and in the hostels, there's always some fire and guitars coming out, and okay, lots so, of comedy. Yeah, again, creating creating the best memories. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to ask because I think this is really relevant. You know, a lot of people are traveling; they go to different places, but they kind of have to take their work with them wherever they go. So, have you yeah. managed to kind of obviously you're still working um, and kind of trying to experience the best? So, what's your what's your work? kind of balance thing After the work flow of the work day my creative creative juices flow in the morning so it's a couple of coffees in the morning work until lunchtime go for a hike or something do something fun and then hour or two in the afternoon but yeah just smack in as much as you can in the whole morning mm -hmm. yeah get it done you're free for the rest of the day awesome get it done. okay cool so, okay well let me not keep you um, from your oh. Transkai adventures it was good to chat um, and I hope we got some, some motivational juices for travelers to come and explore the area. Yeah, we've got, we're going to keep some pictures and stuff coming from the, from the wild coast and some videos. So, uh, yeah, check out our Facebook and Instagram feeds. You'll be seeing what's happening. Awesome. Bye. Yeah.